For those wondering, uh, recently I went to a restaurant called Bagogi Box for my birthday. Uh, and it's a Korean restaurant that's in Charlotte. Um, I forgot if it's uptown or downtown, but it's definitely uh, a great, great restaurant, by the way. Uh, no, no complaints. Uh, to be honest, in fact, there was uh, me and my family and my brother and my brother-in-law, my sister and my niece. Uh, we were actually the only ones there, inter interestingly enough. Um, and that was, it, and it was actually, it was actually a great experience. And in fact, I uh, definitely recommend getting the tea there, which is served to you, um, actually by, by, by the kettle. So you could, so you can, so you can pour yourself, uh, you'll get plenty of tea. Trust me. Um, I ordered the oolong and my mom ordered the peppermint, I believe tea. Yeah. Peppermint tea. Great, great tea to it, to be honest. Uh, definitely love the oolong. Yeah. It's good times. And then I had my meal, which was um, a Korean fried chicken bowl. And if you're curious, the difference between Korean fried chicken and American fried chicken is that uh, Korean fried chicken tends to be a bit healthier, actually, since it's less heavier on it, on the batter um, than American fried chicken. And I don't know why, but I feel like a bit uh, more, I don't know, but I feel like maybe the American fried chicken is more spices, but. Either way, uh, I don't know. There's something about it, you know. It, there's definitely something there. It was just awesome. Uh, and and total Korean fried chicken bowl had like corn. Uh, and of course the Korean fried chicken and and a top of rice. And there was also um, pickles and some other things. And it, it was it was quite nice. Everything blended uh together quite nicely actually. And of course uh, with it I had um a side of kimchi. I try to get their uh, BB frites, which actually sounded nice, but apparently um, BB frites didn't have um, they didn't have offered as like a separate side dish for some reason, but it got offered as an appetizer, which is the same like okay, but yeah, yeah, no complaints about mouse. So yeah, otherwise, uh, yeah, great um, a great experience. Friendly, a friendly staff there, like they want to treat to you every like. Five minutes, like, yeah, I was sorry and stuff, but yeah, no, 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 but no, it was actually pleasant, pleasant experience, the main host there was nice, um, in fact, there was only, like, our families and stuff, and then, um, and then, like, some random guy just came in and came out, and, in fact, the interest left, this restaurant was actually, I think, Parm which, which is surprising, because it was a Friday night, um, and, um, like barely anybody was like there despite the fact it was underneath the bar building, which I'm like, oh, it's interesting. But otherwise, um, great place, um, great food. Um, the uh, uh my complaint was the kimchi being a little bit spicy, but you know it's not like a crazy spice. It's not gonna knock you out or anything. So it's it is actually quite a cool down. But otherwise, uh, yeah, uh, five out of, it, it five out of five five out of five experience. Uh, site four to five. But I almost won't lead through that. But again, my complaint um, was that it wasn't busy as I thought it'd be. Which actually, to be honest, that's actually not a complaint. So yeah, we'll just keep it a five, five out of five for the for love experience and the nice staff there. So highly highly recommend Bagoli Box. Enjoy it.